All right, welcome back everybody. So this week, we're gonna look and see how a self-sealing water base holds up against a uh, vinyl sealer. Let's get to it. So I have three different scenarios set up here. And what we're gonna to try to determine is, um, is if putting a vinyl sealer under water base makes any difference in terms of the durability all right i've talked a lot about vinyl sealer and shellac and i'm a fan of doing this but let's let's see where the rubber meets the road and let's see what this does so what i have is i have water poured on each one of these now this is the cic self-sealed one coat this is the vinyl sealer sealed one coat and this is the malacy 2k um water-based poly um one coat so now, once we answer this question here what we're going to do is i'm going to put top coats on these and then we're going to look at it again and we're going to see um, once the top coats are on if that extra sealer coat helps or does anything to it all right but for this week we're just going to look at the sealer coats and try to determine um if there's any better water resistance um to the film all right i'm gonna let this set for 24 hours and then we're gonna come back in 24 hours and we're gonna look and see if that water is still on each one of these services all right all right so we're back looking here um the cic no water this is the cic um conversion varnish water base self-sealed the vinyl sealer is still holding water and the malacy 2k poly uh the water is off of it so i have done this test like four times and every time i do it the vinyl sealer is still holding water now we're going to come back and look at it again tomorrow and see if this water is gone yet but as it stands now i'm pretty convinced that the vinyl sealer um is going to help you with water issues tremendously all right next day so the water is finally evaporated off um, and um, so it was on there for almost 32 hours before it evaporated these were um, somewhere in the 20 24 range what I want to do is look at each one of these and you can see where the ring was left and I want to wipe these off and see if there was any damage left to it um, now this is the um, uh, water base the centurion conversion varnish water base right, so it did leave it did leave a ring where that water set now this water set for quite some time and remember that this is only one coat of the product on here now i also want to point out something else that um, you can see the bleed that we had off of this in terms of we had a like on like situation where you know a water based dye when it re-wets itself it, it doesn't seal itself as well if that makes sense all right let's look at the vinyl sealer here okay so here's the vinyl sealer now you can see um, kind of more of an outer ring now obviously this one held out water it was it was almost it was between 32 and 36 hours um, and this actually has the lowest solid content of all of them um, this is the Malacy 2k polyurethane on this one you can you can see the rings here too right there and right there and this one was similar to the CIC it was around 24 to 26 hours on the water holdout so let's talk about the findings all right so what's my final thoughts on this experiment well I was actually pretty surprised at how long the vinyl sealer held the water because I actually thought that the water base would be more similar and you wouldn't find that much of a difference um, so that was really interesting to me. And I also thought that the 2K polyurethane might hold out more water than the CIC. And it, it really didn't. It was kind of equal. Um, 
The other thing that was interesting to me is having these products side by side and scuff sanding them um, after I shot that sealer coat. Uh, and I honestly, um, you know, I've kind of bemoaned and said, oh, you know, it's the grain raising and blah, blah, blah. But it actually wasn't that bad. It was probably, um, you know, 15% more work, 10, 15% more work. But it wasn't near as bad as what I um, I've said and kind of led to believe. So that's something that um, sometimes when you get these things side by side, you start really seeing the realities because our minds have a way of playing um, tricks on us on some of this stuff. Um, the other thing that um, was interesting was that all of them uh, left the same type of marring. Uh, maybe the vinyl sealer was a little bit less um, but it was still left that that watermark in them. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna sh shoot some new panels, and we're gonna do three coats of the Malaysi, uh, three coats of the CIC, and then we're gonna do the vinyl sealer with the 2K on top Malaysi and the Centurion, and then I'm also gonna do one with shellac, and we're gonna see which one fails. And basically, I'm just gonna keep putting water on it, and cups on it. Um, until it fails. I may stick it outside in the rain for a few days. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and we'll catch you next week. Uh, you can follow me at Instagram at Eric Reason and Facebook at Eric Reason. Catch you next week. Mm -hmm.